Hey there fellow travelers, or Labas fellow travelers. Mark here with Walter's World, and today we are in Vilnius, Lithuania, the capital of Lithuania. And today what we have for you are just some five kind of tips for visiting Vilnius, so you have a better idea of what you should see and do and know before you come here. So let's get started. Now the first thing I have for you is when you come to Vilnius, the key point for tourists is here on Cathedral Square and Gediminos Hill, which is actually behind the cathedral here. And those were the main sites you want to see as a tourist. The cathedral to check out, you've got the tower behind me. When you walk around up Gediminas Hill, you'll see this little red tower. You can go there and get a great view of the city to see the new built up part, you know, from since, you know, since they gained independence to the rebirth of the downtown, the Baroque area. This UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's really beautiful. And between <laughs> Behind this, but in front of the, the tower, is the, the Palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania. They've rebuilt this palace, which has a lot of history of Lithuania in it, so you can check that out. There's the Lithuanian National Museum that's right down here as well, and so you can really check out a lot of stuff just right in this area, and it's right on Gedimino Prospectus, which is the main kind of shopping street in the historic part of town. So that's the first thing I want to say to do, is make sure you come to this square and go enjoy it all, and you can see the statues and stuff like that around here. There's even a nice little park back along that way, if you've got kids, so that's cool. Now my second tip for you in here in Vilnius is make sure that you do the day trip to Trakai. And Trakai is the castle outside of Vilnius and you go there it's like a 30 minute bus ride or you can take the train out there but the thing is it's got this beautiful red castle that you can go through it's mostly the walls and a few little exhibits but it's a beautiful view you know that Christmas card view you always want to get click that's where it is but what's cool about it is there's these lakes around there and in the summertime like we're here now you can get paddle boats you can go on those you know when you, you're like you stand on the board and you're like paddling on the board paddle boarding there's sailing there's boat tours and you can go swimming in there as well and that's what's really nice is it gets you away from the city into some beautiful nature but also some beautiful history okay now my third tip for you when you come here is wander wander the streets yes i know i told you this is the most important thing to see but wander around because you're going to see tons of cool architecture i'll get a, get them in a prospectus or you're going to go through ujipis which is kind of a new developing area well, not new but like it's the kind of the hipster kind of thing that's going on there but also you have so many wonderful churches around the city baroque churches and other kinds my favorite is saint anne's church i always love going by there when i worked here in lithuania i'd always walk by and check by every day when i did go to work because i'm like man it's too beautiful to pass up so you do have that and you're going to go around and you're going to see a lot of different monuments and churches and buildings and just architecture to take in and when you're walking around you're going to see a lot of bars and restaurants because lithuania and specifically vilnius has tons of great bars little tiny bars you want that personal bars you know beer bars all kinds of stuff cafes restaurants they have all kinds of great places to go out and that's why i say wander around and find something that really calls to you because there's a lot of different options out there and that leads us into the fourth tip i have for you is look if you're looking for a cheap european capital vacation this is the place for you hotels restaurants bars are a fraction of the price you'll find in places like berlin or paris or even Tallinn. and that's what's cool about it we've got two rooms at a nice hotel and it's 100 euros combined okay so you can stay here very affordably but also you can eat and drink very affordably as well so don't worry about your wallet okay they do use the euro here and credit cards are taken most places so you're not going to have issues with that all right um also there is a lot of hotels and also you can stay in you know in uh private apartments and do that there's plenty of stuff around here for accommodations so you'll be okay and the last thing I want to talk about is transportation, getting to Vilnius. Now, there's not a ton of the cheap airlines that come into Vilnius. There are some, but you can get in here with, with, by flying. Uh, what I we actually did is we were doing a Baltic itinerary. We came from Tallinn to Riga to Vilnius and did that. And so you can do it that way as well because there's buses to Tallinn. It's you know like 10 hours or so to uh, Riga, which is about four, four and a half hours to get there. Um, you can go to Kolnis, which is the, which is the second largest city from here, about an hour and a half. But more likely, you want to go to Klaipeda which is way cooler and that's about four four and a half hours depending on what bus you're taking um, take the express bus wherever you go that will make your life easier and you can go there uh, there's buses if you want to go to Minsk if you want to go to st. Petersburg you want to go to Russia you want to go to Poland other parts of Euro 
Europe, there's tons of buses here. There are a few trains that can take you places like Klaipeda or Kolnis or Trukai, or you can take a train down to Warsaw, there's that too. But most of the time you're gonna be using buses to get around. And they have buses and trams for public transportation here, which you can use no problem. But make sure you do validate your ticket, because like the two times that I didn't, I got nailed by the guys that come on and check tickets. So just a heads up on that one. So I hope these five overall tips can help you enjoy Vilnius more when you do come here. It is a great place. Lithuania is a fun place to visit in the summertime. The winter it's a little too cold. I won't lie to you about that one. Uh, <laughs> but I will say it is well worth visiting. And if you want to learn more about visiting Lithuania, 10 things that might shock you when you come here, the don'ts of visiting Lithuania, some fun stuff about Lithuanian superstitions, check us out on our website at waltersworld.com. We're also on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and we really appreciate your likes and subscriptions. And if you like travel videos like this, we put out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday to help travelers with honest travel advice, because that's what we try to go for. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Do click that like button, do click that subscribe button, because we really appreciate it. And I'll say, Visogaro from Lithuania. Bye from Vilnius.